Hello, my lovelies. I sure do miss you guys. I just wanted to send a quick video, kind of checking in and answering some of the questions that were asked in the Google form. Um, I wanna make sure that you know that we're in this together. We're all learning together. And this is new, this is our new normal. Welcome to distance learning. This is you learning and me teaching, just not in the same room, <clears throat> which I'm sure you guys are okay with. You can be much more comfortable, right? Um, you do have assignments and it's not just throw away assignments or worksheets or anything like that. We will be doing meaningful assignments and yes, Miss Wagner will be grading them. Uh, you do have a schedule to follow. If you haven't received it in Jupiter yet, make sure that you check that. On Monday, teachers are going to upload our assignments and the work that we expect you to do. Uh, for me personally, our class, Miss Wagner's English 7, all assignments are gonna be due on Friday, except for some DLPs that you will have, your daily language practice. Those are due on the day that they are assigned and those dates are at the top of those papers. <clears throat> so your actual schools start on Tuesday. So Tuesdays and Thursdays have the same schedule, period one, three, and five. And the blocks that are scheduled are 30 minute blocks. You should dedicate that time specifically for whatever period you have me for English for that 30 minutes. Of course, you can work on your assignments at other times, but in order to stay on schedule and stay on track and do your best, make sure that you're dedicating those 30 minutes to your assignments. So, period one, 10 to 10.30. Period three, 11 to 11.30. And period five, 12 to 12.30. That's the time you should dedicate on Tuesdays and Thursdays to your assignments. On Wednesdays and Fridays, it's gonna be periods two, four, and six. Period two, 10 to 10.30. Period four, 11 to 11.30. And period six, 12 to 12.30. I will hold my office hours from 1.30 to three o'clock every day. I will probably be in front of my computer, but I also have the volume turned up, so if any notifications come through, I can come and quickly check it. You know, I gotta keep Rocky and Lola busy so they don't destroy the house. <clears throat> uh, you can email me to ask me questions at any time. Just try to be respectful of evenings, um, so maybe not after 8 p.m., but I will, if you do, I'll get to it the next day as soon as I can. Um, I'll still be up early, even though you don't technically have to be up until 10 a.m. So that's nice. All right, <clears throat> so how it works. I'm hoping to post videos like this for you guys um, often so that you can see me and hear me and um, slow me down because you know I like to go too fast sometimes because I get excited about our lessons. You can rewind it if you don't understand something and you can pause it if you'd like to think about something I've said which is all great. Don't you wish you could do that in class or mute me? <laughs> so you're going to need to check in with me twice a week. So once on either Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on what period you have me. And then again, either Wednesday or Friday, again, depending on what period you have me. So say you have me period two and you need to check in. You're gonna check in with me from 10 to 10.30 on Wednesday and Friday. And this could be something as simple as sending me a quick message saying, hey, or commenting on a post in Google Classroom or something like we've already done, which is to submit a picture. Um, the most recent one that you've done is to send me a picture of something that reminds you of English class. And I love the pictures. You guys are wonderful. They made me giggle. They, they hurt my heart in a good way. And I just, oh, I love it. You guys are so creative and I love it. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, Google Classroom is where we're gonna be mainly doing our work. We're not gonna have assignments in Jupyter to upload or anything. I will be putting your grades in there. Um, the assignments though will need to be turned in through Google Classroom. Again, I really wanna emphasize, read all directions, especially since I'm not right there to answer your questions if you have them or to repeat instructions. They are written for you. And remember, I like to be as detailed as possible so I will be that detailed um, for you. But if you have questions, let me know. Um, we are not doing video conferencing yet. We are still kind of figuring out the, the kinks and the wrinkles in that, but I am gonna try to use Flipgrid where you can upload a video, but only I will see it. Um, 
we'll talk about sharing permissions later. I might have to get permission slips from your parents or something along those lines because we just want to keep everyone safe and protected. Uh, let's see, I already I have my little my notes. You know, Miss Wagner, she has her notes all the time. Um, uh, before we start an assignment, I will be reviewing with you. For example, next Monday, the 20th, is when all assignments will be uploaded. I plan to give you a video like this explaining or reviewing what's asked for in the DLPs and the other assignments that you may need to recall. <clears throat> Excuse me. You are going to have an Achieve article every week, all five steps, two of the three summary circles, right? Summarize and setting the purpose because that helps you to do what? Answer the thought question. Ah, oh, I miss your replies, your responses, guys. All right, all assignments, except for the DLPs that are due on the day they are assigned, are due Friday by 3 p.m. And I'm not gonna be assigning you a ton of work because I know that this is new and it's difficult and it's weird. So you work with me and I work with you, right? That's what I always say. Um, if you haven't already, please go into Google Classroom and fill out that Google form that I sent out as a check-in. This just helps me know that you <clears throat> are getting my contact and information from me, and it also lets me know that you have some way of getting on the internet or have a device to do so. Now, if you left your device at school or you do not have internet, you need to contact the school, contact Mr. Aparicio. Talk with him, excuse me, and he will explain to you what you need to do. They'll let you come and pick up your device. Um, we're trying to work out internet things for people that may not have it. And also, all of the assignments that I give will be able to be in paper copy. And you'll have to go pick that up at the school. Schedule a time and Mr. Aparicio or Miss Walker or Mr. Hughes will get that to you. Um, assignments when they're turned in need to be turned in through Google Classroom. Remember, you're not turning anything in through Jupyter. You're turning all assignments in in Google Classroom. The documents will be editable. And remember, you get a copy and they the changes automatically save in Drive. We're not doing notability. We're not doing any kind of crazy stuff, although we're still gonna do our speech and that's where Flipgrid will come into play. But I will post how to's, thorough directions and show you how it's done. <clears throat> and don't worry about the speech. I have guidelines and a rubric for that and it's only one to two minutes. Also, for that speech, if you don't want your face in it, you can use your visual that you have to have and focus on that while you give the speech. Again, I'll go into that in more detail next week. Um, frequently asked questions. So these are the, the questions that I got the most on the Google form. And so they are, let me pull them up. How long is distance learning? Well, unfortunately, we don't know at least through the end of the school year. And we're hoping by the time next school year starts that we'll be through this whole thing and be able to be with each other again. However, it is a possibility that we may not be up and running again. So distance learning may continue next year. We're not sure though. Uh, are the lessons going to be more complicated? Not really. No more complicated than they were in class. And remember, I'm here for any support that you need anytime, but especially 1.30 to three o'clock every day, okay? How many assignments will we have over the rest of the school year? Well, we have six weeks left starting on the 20th, and so you'll have at least six weeks worth of assignments. We're gonna finish up with the Martin Luther King Jr. speech, review the comprehension questions, um, make sure that you've done the MLK post-test or the Martin Luther King Jr. test and the post-test in Google Classroom. I'll get to that in just a minute, but um, you'll have six weeks worth of work. So at least six more Achieve articles. Um, we are not doing end of the school year testing. That has been waived because we are in quarantine or shelter in place order. Will this affect our grades or opportunities in the long run? Yes, you will not have to retake seventh grade, but you can improve your grade. If you do not have a grade that you like at this moment, you need to make sure that you do your best and do all of the assignments to bring it up. If you're already sitting at a good grade, you can only make it go higher. So make sure that you do your best. Remember, all I ask is that you try and do your best. Um, are we going to do just online worksheets? No, um, you will have actual interactive assignments and fun things to do, hopefully, 
and um, you will have some worksheets to do, like questions to answer and things like that, but no, this is not just busy work. This is actual curriculum, so take it seriously. And remember, ask me questions if you have them. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> okay, now, regarding missing work and makeup work. I've gotten a lot of questions about that as well. What can I do to bring up my grade? Well, I'm gonna try to be fair here. And what we're gonna do, what I'm gonna let you do is if you did not turn in the Martin Luther King Jr. packet or it was incomplete when you turned it in, you have two weeks to do so. Okay, so by not next Friday, but the Friday after that, I'll find the date and post it. Actually, let me look it up right now. I have my calendar right in front of me. April, April, April. So the 20th to the 24th. Oh, so it'll be March or May. May 1st is when all makeup work will be due. May 1st by 3 p.m. So if you did not finish, if you did not complete the Martin Luther King Jr. packet, along with all the activities in there, you should have most of them done. And we did them in class together, except for the comprehension questions. You were supposed to do those on your own. Finish those by May 1st and submit it through Google Classroom. If you can't access the document, hit unsubmit, and then you should be able to edit it and turn it back in, or your where it was in notability. If you have questions, let me know. <clears throat> you will be able to replace any failing Achieve article grades or finish those extra credit ones, two max, two extra credit articles max. And if you're missing any Achieve articles, you may do those. Um, just make sure that you fill out that Google form of the replacement Achieve. Um, replacement achieve articles. So, <clears throat> excuse me, so that I can look and get those grades and put them in the grade book. Um, doo -doo -doo. The MLK packet I already went over. We'll go over the comprehension questions after all packets are turned in. <clears throat> and you will have to make sure, if you haven't already, do your Martin Luther King Jr. I Have a Dream speech test in Google Classroom. Once I get all those grades in, if you failed, of course I'll give you a retake, but I have to restructure the quiz to make sure that it's fair for everyone and that you can't go back and be like, oh, I got that one wrong, so let me fix that and look at your answers. Miss Wagner doesn't play like that. And complete the post-test. Those 13 questions that we had, um, you had to write it on paper. I'm gonna put it in Google Forms uh, if you did not do that already. So I will upload that to Google Classroom as well. So that'll be easy. Just click the answer and submit it to me. Um, and remember, that's just a completion grade. If you do it, you get a 100. Um, remember, it's just measuring where you are now in the year. And I know that we're in a weird place, but I still want to know what you have learned up until this point. Um, <clears throat> yes, I'm grading everything. Get ready for new assignments. Um, it'll mostly be stuff we've already covered. There will be access to new content and curriculum, but it's nothing that we haven't done in class already, like a short story or poetry or figurative language or grammar, all the stuff that we've already done. Um, remember, and I'm really, really begging you, do your best. All you have to do is try. That's all I ask of you is to try. Um, we're in this together and I'm here for whatever you need, just like always. I'm just an email or a Google message away. Um, <clears throat> please let me know if you need anything, if you have any questions, concerns, whatever it is you need, just let me know. And <clears throat> lastly, I really do miss you guys. I miss our jokes, our banter, making fun of each other, teaching you, dancing around in front of the classroom. Maybe I'll have to do learn, be an old lady that learns TikToks and do them up here, right? I don't know, I'm not that cool. But you all knew that already. <laughs> well, I hope this answered most of your questions and it went a little longer than I anticipated, but that's okay because I gave you a thorough explanation. Again, please let me know if you have any questions. I can't wait to start with you guys and start teaching again. And I hope that you've had a restful month. It's been a month already, oh my gosh. Yeah, I hope you guys are staying healthy, stay safe, stay home. And let me know if you need anything school-wise or if you need some help otherwise, because that's what I'm here for. Or if you have situations going on that you need to explain to me. I am here to help in any way that I can. 
I miss you guys. Bye, lovelies.